Welcome to the Published Pot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. And today we're here to talk about spamming to the choir. Brr? Well, yeah, it's you, probably you, not what you think, but it's actually probably not all that far off. Well, I'm sure you've heard of preaching to the choir. Indeed. And having sung in choirs, those people need preaching. I'm just saying. Yes, yes. This was a, a trend I, I, I noticed occasionally mm -hmm. where on social media, on sites that are explicitly Christian, yeah. <clears throat> someone will go and just spam the group with the most basic, not at all important... Uh, they, they find something that's not offend, that's not objectionable, <laughs> and then they find a way to make it objectionable by making everybody like have to filter through miles uh, of it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, you know, like depending on the group, it is the this literally happened posting approximately well attempting to post because you know they were they there's were moderation because yeah. the moderators got involved and said <laughs> nah, uh, uh. a dozen posts in one day. Consisting of a pic of religious art and then a quote or a little prayer above, below, <sighs> or over it. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that makes you want to not be so religious. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh. Because when I express my faith publicly, I don't want I coming people, off as one of those people? I don't want people to lump me in the same group <laughs> as you. Because I don't want to be associated with those people. No. Ugh. No, no. I, I will give most of the ones I've seen a, a plus in that it was not obviously AI art. Sure. It was just, you know, classic pictures. Yeah. But it's it's like, all right, this is a group where if, like, if you are not Christian, you have to agree that you're, you know, going to, you know, follow the rules of this being a Christian group. Yeah. Or, so this, or is... this is just a Catholic group. Everyone here is Catholic. If you say you're not Catholic, you're only allowed in if you're like... My, my, my fiance is Catholic and I'm in RCIA type thing. They're, me, they're, memify, <laughs> they're memifying Christian art mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then spam posting it mm -hmm. like as if that somehow makes it more poignant. Mm -hmm. in, in, in one group where it technically was not against the rules. Ah, so, curse of loopholes. Yes. One of the admins asked, why are you posting this many things that are not like discussions, you know, because a lot of them are, you know, Here's something I found interesting. Can we discuss this aspect of it? Yeah. It's just, you know, here's here, love Jesus, God, Bible. You know, here's a particular <laughs> statement about the faith. Do we agree with this? Are there bad nuances to it? What's that? No, just yeah. God, Jesus, Bible. Yeah. All and, the time. With and, sparkles. And, and one person's response to that was simply that they put it there so that they can, you know, be edified by what they posted to us a dozen times in a day. <laughs> if you need to be a, Look, first off. I'm just going to say right off the bat, if you need to do something so that you can be edified, there, there, may, be other, there may be other things that you need to um, discuss with a uh, spiritual director. Well, listen, I, I, if you need to post things to be edified, I, I don't have any... Hang it up on your wall. I don't have any inherent objection to that, but yeah, use your own dedicated space for it you don't have to fill a discussion group with it. That's what your wall is for. Yes, yes. If it, if it was in their feed, or you know, fine. You know the the sites where you you know you know you just post what used to be called tweets. You know, if it was just there or the equivalent that we're not saying. <laughs> but but we're trying to have a substantive discussion here. A good faith, non cantankerous, but substantive discussion. We don't need. Well, here's a particularly saccharine portrait of the Blessed Mother. Yes. yes, and that is the hardest part. You know, like, when as an admin, I'm like, all right, we have declined 150 posts of theirs in the last month. The next one gets blocked because we've, we've given them all the warnings, and they're like, if you love Mary, click like. I'm like... I really don't want to block someone for saying that, but it's not in the group parameters. You're not the boss of them. I'm, You're not the boss of I'm me. I'm sorry. Chain mail should have gone out with electric mail. Well, it's... Well, when electric mail came in, I mean. It's similar to the people who leave obscure or newly invented novenas in the back of church. Like, I have no doubt that these people think they're doing the right thing, but this is not how you advance the faith. Actually, I think it's worse, Michael. I think it's worse. 
I'm going to paint a picture sure. for you here. Uh, three people. Yeah. Two of them are having a conversation. Mm -hmm. A deep, theological conversation. Mm -hmm. The third one, every 30 seconds, mm -hmm. chimes in with either the word God, Jesus, or Bible. Can we paint and a when, giant and, happy tree over that person? And when, and when, somebody, <laughs> and when somebody goes and says, why did you do that? And, well, I want to be part of the conversation. <laughs> Or it's like worse. you're not adding anything to the conversation. You're only being part of the conversation, so you can say, "I was part of that conversation." Or worse, they don't say, "So I can be part of the conversation." They say, "If you like God, live like this. If you yes. love Jesus, you'll express it the exact same way I do." Mm -hmm. Yes. But anyway, <sighs> this is almost. This is almost in my book. This is almost on the on the on the on the fringe of like theological terrorism. That's very strong language. <laughs> it's very strong language, and I'm probably a hundred percent wrong. But, but you know, no, what? No. I'm willing to give you enough rub to hang yourself. Let's let's do this. No, 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 because I can kind of see it. Because there's some where if every once in a while your great aunt Edna posts something, you're uh -huh. like, well, mm -hmm. it's amazing she's online anyway. But but you know, when when someone does it in a group where it's like our whole purpose is discuss important Christian things, and and you're like, you know what? You're making me not want to be part of this group. <laughs> you are anti-evangelizing to people who are already evangelized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and, uh, people, yes, there is, there's not a, a, there's not a one of us who doesn't need every now and again some encouragement. Yeah, a little, a little, a little self-edification is not a bad thing. Yeah, but but I, this is what this is this is what Stuart Smalley's words of affirmation were for. Mm -hmm. And the thing you need for Stuart Smalley's words of affirmation are not a bulletin board, not a window to shout out of, but a mirror. A mirror. You need a mirror. You mm -hmm. need to look into the mirror and tell yourself the things that you need to hear. You're good enough, you're smart, smart enough, enough, and gosh darn sure. it, Jesus loves you. Because <laughs> Lord knows people don't like you. <laughs> well, not with all the look, look, look. <laughs> look, look, look. Focus on Jesus loving you. Yep. Focus yep. on loving Jesus yep. like Jesus loves you. Yep. yep, yep, yep. And then focus on loving others like Jesus loves you. That's the really hard it's a really hard part, but if you can get those first two really solidly aligned, the mm -hmm. third one just kind of, there, there's enough of a pull that that third one just tends to straighten right out. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, so I'll play devil's advocate for just a second. Woo, a job that no longer oh, exists. One of my favorite jobs <laughs> that no longer exists. Are you going to read 500 documents on their entire life? No, <laughs> I'm simply going to say... The people that spam the choir, mm -hmm. they may be the instruments of our sanctity. Ooh. Because if we can learn to love them, mm. yeah. we'll, you know, we have to love them the way that Jesus loves them. Sad. Yeah. Not the, not the way that they love us. No. But the way that Jesus loves them. Mm. So you're suggesting uh. we should be like St. Teresa of Lisieux? Who I believe was the one who then, you know, sat next to the yep. fellow nun that she most disliked. Yep. Yeah. Who who kinda who kinda freaked out the nun who was most mean to her by being so nice to her all the time. Well, I, again, I <laughs> I'm I'm not defending these people. Lord knows that <laughs> I I'm quick to find people annoying, but No, 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 no. I think I think you're absolutely correct. While we do not condone your behavior, we do recognize that the discomfort with which your behavior causes us uh, is in itself an opportunity for us to work on our own um, fortitude and forbearance, forbearance and patience. Mm -hmm. Long suffering. Long. There's the word I was looking for. <laughs> long suffering. Lord knows I've suffered a long time. And well, 
as a plus, at least they're not trying to sell a brand new laptop that their child who just died bought right before they died. And please go and go to this link to see. Oh no no details. no! That's a whole that's a whole different bag. Those people can go to hell. <laughs> If you're just in a normal space and you try to use it for any commercial purpose, yeah. <laughs> God may love you. God may love those people, but I sure don't. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You don't but, like them. I don't, but I, yeah. I yeah. love them. I, God, God tells me I gotta love them. He does not say I have to well, like them. That's what's great about the Bible. <laughs> At no point does it tell us to like our enemies. <laughs> And no, no, that guy's your enemy. And the Lord is very clear: love your enemies. So I've never understood the Christian to say we shouldn't have any enemies. The Lord's very clear: love your. You're enemies. gonna have them. If I don't have any, who am I supposed to love? Only the people that love no. me. Don't the pagans and the tax collectors do that? Actually, actually, all right. I, I think well, I, got, I think I got one here. That's a whole right. separate discussion. That's fair. We'll save it for later. All right. So, go down below to the comment section. And put your favorite out-of-context quote from a Sassanian Bible passage, just like you're spamming no, the other things. No, no, no. You put seven of your favorite out-of-context <laughs> yeah. quotes. You can't just do one. Like this, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, or hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get notified. And then like this episode, because if you don't like this episode, it's clear that you don't love Mother Mary <laughs> or her son Jesus. <laughs> And comment, comment, and comment again. Over and over and over again. If, 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 if you scroll through the list of comments and you see more than three comments in between two of your comments, you're not commenting enough. <laughs> then you're failing Jesus. And until next time. Remember to live your faith. Love your faith. And share, share that, that love. love.